Whoa, he's back, back again. Hopefully we can get out and get some good targets today, guys. Check it out. Ooh, he's got the 14 on. Absolutely cool. If this is your first time watching the channel, thanks very much. Uh, hopefully you can hit that subscribe button and continue to watch some cool videos along the journey. Anyway, let's not muck around. What I wanted to do in this episode, just at the start, is just give a few little uh, pointers. People that are looking to start out in gold detecting, just some of the some of the basic things that you'll need for gold detecting. Pretty much a metal detector. <laughs> Without that, you won't be doing any gold detecting, I guess. Um, and then budget. Budget's a big one as well. Depending on your budget, that'll sort of determine which machine you'd be looking at. So that'll be your first port of call, whatever your budget is. And then, um, yeah, go from there. If you're really keen and serious about gold detecting, and that's primarily what you want to find, gold, then mine left. Probably the next thing you'll need after you get yourself a gold detector, find the one that you want. Most people obviously go to maps, so you need gold mapping. Um, depending on where you live in the world, it could be different mapping from different people. But here in Australia, we've got an absolutely wide variety of maps online and also in most gold detector shops. Just like a big treasure hunt, get the map and go and try and find that treasure that's out there. The next thing I would probably suggest is safety. Safety is super important out in the gold fields. Highly recommended to have a GPS, a handheld GPS, even your phone with uh, GPS tracking as well. That way you can mark your spot when you're at your vehicle and then uh, leave a breadcrumb trail or whatever, but mark your spot at the vehicle and then when you're out detecting, that way you'll always find your way back to the uh, vehicle. Okay, so on the detector gear as well, obviously once you get your gold detector, your metal detector, you'll need a good pick for digging and then a scoop if you want to retrieve the target. Um, most GPXs come with that scoop in the kit if you buy it brand new, but if not, they're cheap just at any hardware store. All right, this is probably more of a tip or just um, a bit of insight, but persistence. You'll need a lot of, lot of that. It's one of the most crucial aspects to gold detecting, I think, and uh, make sure you buy plenty of cans of it. Take that with you because you'll need it more days than not. And then probably the next thing, the next thing that you'll need, I would say when it comes to gold detecting, is um, lots and lots of tips from Mine Lab Gold. <music> Tip one, I'd say, this is very, very, very crucial list. Make the gold fields like your own backyard, all right? That was one of the most important things I was ever told by a very renowned gold detector operator is to do that, okay? Make the gold fields like your own backyard. All right, tip two would be walk, walk, and walk. And when you think you've walked enough, do it all again and eventually you will find gold, but don't walk too far. Tip number three would be take very good notice of all grounds where you find gold and where you don't, all right? So you can take notice of all of the grounds, where you find gold and where you don't. All right, so probably the next tip would be um, Oh, what can I say? The old miners, okay, they've painted the picture for us already. They've painted that picture for us to learn. So we use this for our advantage, okay? So whenever you're out gold detecting, if it's in old gold workings or gold areas, let the miners tell you the, the, the story of what's going on and use what they've done to gain the knowledge and better your advantage. It's very, very important to do that. Probably the last one, like I could go on and on and on for days with these, but and I don't want to waste your time because I know how important it is. But these things are very important, uh, stories and things that you learn along the way. Don't stress on your settings in the gold detector, okay, because there's not a holy grail number. So don't stress on the settings at all. What you need to do is just gain that confidence. Gain the confidence with your machine, gain the confidence with your coil, gain the confidence with your grounds. Because once you start gaining that confidence, that's when everything starts to really pick up. Um, don't ever think there's a holy grail number, just learn your machine um, and yeah, good luck, absolutely good luck. Hope that helps you out. I know it wasn't too many, but they're very important things to know. Ooh, here we go, bonus tip. This is probably the best, the best tip ever, all right? This one that I'm about to tell you. I can't believe I'm giving you as a bonus tip. Probably the best thing you could do is watch all of my videos and again, 
and again and keep watching them until it all sinks in when you think you've watched enough of the videos go back and watch them all again you'll find amazing tips all throughout the videos you will see a lot of things in there that um, are very very important to gold detecting enjoy okay so um, enough of that I hope that helps someone get into the hobby and find some real gold because it is exciting it's very exciting stuff now you probably think just hurry up and get out and do some gold detecting well the funny thing is I actually get told it um, oh, we don't want to see that on the channel we just want to see you find gold but the joy of um, having a channel is I can do whatever I want I can put whatever I want on there if I want to put a donkey on there I will Obviously, I'm not going to put a donkey on there, but... It's all good fun, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I want to give a couple of shout-outs right now to some very important people, okay? I'll try not to make this go for too long. I just want to give a big shout-out to one of my best friends over in Western Australia, Lee. How are you going? Absolutely awesome. Thanks very much for um, all the stuff that you do and chatting away and it was great to catch up um, last week. Shh, don't tell anyone we did, okay? I hope to see you soon too. When, you, when you're heading out in a week or when you head out soon into the gold fields in WA, make sure you leave some gold for me for when I come over. I'll see you soon, okay? Thanks, Lee. Ooh, now this next shout out, it's not really a shout out, it's just, it's just a thank you, really. There's a fella all the way over in United States of America. Okay, now he sends some awesome comments, like I mean, absolutely awesome comments, all in detail, almost like a short story novel. Some of the comments are really long and I love reading, I love reading stories. Okay, now this fella, in the last video, sent the most amazing comment that I've read on my channel. Um, so I just want to give a big thumbs up to Gerard all the way over in United States. Thanks very much for that comment. It really, really means a lot. You totally understand everything that it takes to go into doing these videos and all the stuff that we have to do from start right through to finish until we upload it to YouTube. So thanks very much. You've got such a kind heart. Um, thanks for being you and um, I'll talk with you very soon. For anyone who wants to read it and give him a thumbs up and reply to his comment, go back to the last video. I'll put a link up at the top here. Go back to that video and watch it and then give him a comment as well. Absolutely cool. Thanks very much. Whoa, enough of talking. Let's go and find some gold. I'll try and make this real quick because I've wasted so much time already. I'll try and make this real quick. Oh, I bet you I can. I bet you I can make this go really fast for you and we'll catch back up. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, we have a target just down here. Let me plug in the external speaker. Let's go. Oh, come on, 14. You beast. As you can see, big target. There we go. Right there in the scoop. Piece of rust. There we go. Ooh, target one. Rusty rust. Let's go. Okay, we have another target. Oh, how cool is it out here? Absolutely awesome. Anyway, let's go down. Just over here. Very responsive. Somewhere in here. Oh, actually it was up here. So yeah, she's a screamer. As you can hear, that's a, it's a screamer on top. A screamer up top, but when we um, lift that coil up a bit, it turns into a beautiful, beautiful digging target. Each to their own. But I wouldn't think this is gonna be gold. She's still in there. I'd say that's gonna be it. Ah. Now we're in. All right, here we go. Oh, what's that I can see? All right. Oh, here we go. Right there in the scoop. 
just the rust nugget. Rust nugget. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, it's not gold, is it? Let's keep going. Oh, we have a target right here. Absolutely awesome. Whew, geez, I've been digging. I'll show you the targets that I got later. Uh, anyway, I won't waste too much time. Let's get this bad boy out. I'll show you the... Whoop, she's a bit hot. Here we go. Just down in here. As you can hear, absolutely awesome. That is not a surface target. That's definitely not a surface target. So let's get this one out. Scrape that. Tree root, tree root. Absolutely awesome. There we go, getting there. Ooh, she's a deep one. Oh, look at that material. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that material, Cookie. There's that color, the color change in there. Oh, I'm that excited, I'm gonna show you. How awesome is that? Look at all the colors. Ooh, ooh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Oh, in the pot clay. Isn't it amazing how the material just changes like that? Oh, come on gold. Come on gold. Oh, she's out. How can I do this? I want to get you guys right on this action as good as I can. I'll try and hold this back here. Let's see. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, oh nah. Oh, she's in there. It's so exciting, this. Maybe I'll go a bit too overboard, but after doing it for 20 years, you're probably saying hurry up and get this target. After doing it for 20 years and the excitement never drops off, whether it's a very, very small piece of gold or something something um, decent, it gets us going. It's so, so exciting. All right, here we go. Oh, my speaker's not in properly. Oh, how can I do this? I'm gonna have to sit yours, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Oh, I should be throwing that back up there. I'll put that back up. Oh, she's in, she's in. Somewhere in here. She's on the coil. Right there, right here. That's it. Whoa! We are going to check this out. Here we go, you ready? Right on the coil, right there. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh, what do we got? What do we got here? Come on, Cookie, get ready and say it. Almost fell, sorry. See if I can get some of that, more of that dirt out. Nah, I'll just have to clean it and show you some pictures at the end. Oh, 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 you beauty, that's gold, guys. That'll weigh a little bit. It's not like, it's not solid. Um, but, you know, we could be looking at a gram, a bit over a gram there for sure. Oh, you little ripper. Absolutely awesome. How cool is that? That beautiful material change too. 
just going through all of those colors. Ooh, that's why we do it. That's why we do it. So that's how you find real gold, okay? Oh, wow, let's keep going. Let's keep going and see if we can find some more. Ooh, we have another target down here, guys. Wow, wow. Oh, it's funny. I'll show you after at the end of the video, but um, yeah, I dug buckshot, buckshot, and then the next one was very close. Sounded like it. I filmed the first one, filmed the second one, and I didn't film the third. Have a guess what the third was. Yep, you got it. I'll show you anyway once we um, get to the end. So here we go. Nice sounding target. Not surface. Definitely below. It. Definitely below the surface. All right, let's get this one. Tell me what you think this is going to be. Oh, it's funny because I've said that a lot of times when I'm filming all the stuff that doesn't get put on, like I'll be filming a junk target, but it sounds nice, it's below the surface. And then, yeah, it just turns out to be junk, so. Alright, here we go, we're going in. We are going in. Ooh. Oh, she's getting louder. Hear the broader response with the 14 as well, compared to the 11. 11 on smaller stuff will be not as broad on a um, on certain size targets anyway. Oh, we're just hitting the gravel stuff. Oh, shallow. Looks like a little bit of clay in there. Oh, it's out already, just as we hit that clay there. All right, here we go. Okay, we should be looking about here. Ah, oh, the bloody... Getting used to pinpointing again with the 14. Oh no. This ain't going on YouTube. Cut that. Oh no, I was right, but just a little bit deeper. Oh, she's in. Oh, what's that? Oh, quads. Well, that's a good sign it's staying in. Oh, just as I said it. Oh, what's that I can see? What is this? Somewhere in here. Okay. Right there, you little beauty. Oh, 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 that's gold, guys. That's a piece of gold. Let's clean it. Oh, oh, I thought it was bigger than that, but that's just all the dirt that was stuck on it. There we go. Oh, that's cool, as awesome. Oh, almost bloody dropped it. There we go. See if I can get that in focus. There we go. Beautiful piece of gold. That's cool. All right. Wow, wow. Very, very good. I'd say that'd be a gram too. I, feel, I can feel it's a little bit solid, so that's three bits today. Very awesome. Right next to a tree. Just as we hit that clay, it came out. A little bit of gravel in there. A little bit sandy too. All righty, I'll fill that hole in. Obviously check around here a bit. Check the pile again. Fill that hole in and then we'll keep going. Oh, geez, I've got some more targets. Just no gold ones. Uh, we'll just do the normal thing, go through these real quick, because I don't want this to go for too long, obviously. Okay, so here we go. Here's the targets just here. Okay, so as you can see there, we've got a 12 gauge, uh, back of a 12 gauge cartridge. Well, that's pretty cool. That was on top of the ground. Very loud, very loud. 22 shell, 22 bullet shell. That's that junky rust target we got. The very first target, I'm pretty sure it was. More rust, rust nugget. That was a good one, that one. Little button. Buckshot, buckshot. Yeah, and then just, just the general hot rocks that we usually get. Little bits of rust, little bits of tin. Um, still a very cool day, but most of that tin is what I got at the end. So that stuff definitely keeps you going. So here we go. Now we'll go down and we'll check out the gold right there. Absolutely awesome. So there's the gold we got today. Very, very cool. 
Um, not big, not big bits like we got in the last couple of episodes, but hey, that's gold detecting. Sometimes you just don't even find it. Sometimes you might just walk away with that for the day. But we're still happy. Either way, we're still happy. Um, so yeah, that's how you find real gold. Get out, swing heaps, walk heaps, find gold. Absolutely cool. All right, we'll sit down there. All right, so if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Do all the normal things that we ask you to do. Thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, whatever. Totally up to you. It's your life. I'll see you in the next episode.